Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to remove Microsoft Edge from your computer. So, uh, Microsoft Edge is the web browser that comes with Windows, as you probably know. It's the uh, replacement for Internet Explorer, and many people do not like it, and will actually install something like Google Chrome or another web browser to replace it, And but you'll still have Edge on there because it's part of Windows, and it's not something you could just uninstall. But if you ever need to uh, get rid of it for some reason, let's say, you know, it's uh, taking over when you click on links, even though Chrome is your default browser, or many times you'll find it's opening your PDF files, even if you have the uh, Acrobat Reader installed. So there's many reasons you might want to get rid of it. But for the most part, I think you just leave it and, you know, install your other browser and be fine. But if you're the type who really wants it gone, here's a way you could do it. Um, but what I would do first is make sure you have another web browser installed because you're going to need a web browser to go online and download your new web browser so do that first and then I would also do a uh, system restore checkpoint in case something goes wrong or in case you want to restore Microsoft Edge to bring it back now doing this is no guarantee that it might not come back in some major Windows updates so you have to keep your eye on that so for the system restore if you just click on start type in restore and then click on create a restore point so if you don't have system restore on then you have to uh, turn it on first but once you have it enabled you just click on this create button here type in a name for it let's call this let it do its thing here how oh, successful and let's say you want to bring it back, you come back to System Restore, click on System Restore here. And then you could click on, you know, if you have more than one restore point, you could click that. And then you could click on Before Removing Edge and let it restore Microsoft Edge. So just keep in mind, this might restore some other stuff back to this point too. So if you have this uh, restore point, it's, too, you know, it's pretty old, then you might be restoring or undoing a lot of stuff. So keep that in mind. You probably just want to use this if something goes wrong right after you do it. Okay, so now to the uninstall part. So we have this text file here. So what you need to do is go to your easiest way to go to your Edge shortcut here on the desktop. Go to Properties. And then Open File Location. And then you want to find this version folder here. Click on that. And then you want to go to the Installer folder. Click on that. Then you want to copy this path here. And then you could, you could paste it into Notepad or just leave it on your clipboard. Then you want to run Administrative Command Prompt. Right-click on it, run as Administrator. And then you want to do it CD space. And then you could just right-click in there; it'll paste it in there. And it takes you to that folder. And then you want to run this command here, which I'll put in the description. Once you're in that folder, so you have to be in this installer folder for this version number. So you could just right-click, paste it. And it's really quick. You can see the edge icon is gone. And it's just a really quick uninstall. And now if we do a search for all our apps here, you'll see it's still kind of there, but it's missing the icon. And if you click on it, nothing happens. Do a search for it here. You can see like the icons kind of missing there too. It's almost like it kind of knows it used to be there, but it's not there. So that's the way you do it. So like I said, just find that directory with the installer under your version. Uh, do a system restore first if you, if you really care. You don't have to. And then copy this uh, command in there and run it, and that should uh, take care of it for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>